hey guys welcome back to yet another video so in today's tutorial we'll be changing the colors from we'll be stealing the colors from this color grading from this image and pasting that on this image this is the first normal image and we'll be changing that into a image like this so let's go and get into the video so take the image you want to steal the color from go to image change your precision to 8-bit integer change your mode to indexed and give a maximum number of colors three convert and that's going to convert your image into just basically three colors which are the highlights midtones and shadows so let's in uh, right click on any anywhere in the palettes right click and import palette click on image and select the girl in purple that's the name of this file and I'm going to name this palette stone color and I'm going to import that double click on that import that duplicate that actually my system is having some problem because of the recorder so i'm going to pause for a moment and i'll see you when i finish duplicating and aligning them equal so now i have finished duplicating and aligning them equally so i have duplicated these shadows two times and the highlights two times but the midtone i just kept that one time so go to your palettes right click on the palette you just created palette to gradient and that's going to apply that to a gradient double click on the gradient and just start editing these nodes and before we make any changes to these nodes i want to take the color picker and just make some marks on the hi highlights shadows and the midpoints so i'm going to get started by marking the highlights which is the bright brightest points in this image and take the color picker add that to your favorites press ok now zoom in and take your midtones which are these these colors click on your color picker apply that to your favorites and i'm not going to close that because i don't want to open that up multiple times zoom in take the darkest point apply that to your favorites press ok and now let's take the color picker color change foreground color take the color manager right there take click on the highlights change your mode to hsv hue 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 saturation and value so value is just the brightness luminance of the color so this is the highlight so take this node and the number is 70.6 so make this a 70.6 approx okay 70.7 7072 would work and click on this one and right click Recenter segments midpoint now take your midpoint right there or before we go to midpoint let's take the shadows 16.1 so click on the midpoint the shadow and go back and if your midpoints are coming in way just move them around and 16.1 okay 1635 would work and right click recenter segments midpoint and that's done now let's go ahead and change the midtone right there for that click on the midpoint color right there that's presenting 33 37.3 take your midpoint node and make that 37.3 bring it all the way down 
37.3 actually I took the wrong node this is the real node we had to adjust 37.3 37.6 would work right click line center click on this recenter all right now that's done let's go and take our image let's close this off we don't need that anymore take your layer duplicate this i'm going to rename this one gradient map gradient map press enter right there change the mode to soft light go to color map and you have to be sure that you have chosen the gradient we just created and press on gradient map and that has been applied and this is the normal one so this and this one is looking pretty similar so we made that into soft light and now let's go into the original layer and duplicate that one time go to color map color exchange and now zoom in to where you think is the brightest point in this image for me it is the part of the nose where there's a lot of whites right there i'm going to click on the white and take your two color and take your highlights click ok zoom out and bring all the threshold all the way up and you can see it's starting to take effect press ok good color map color exchange now zoom in to the darkest point which is going to be the shadows and take your two color take your shadows press ok zoom out bring all the threshold all the way up and the shadows is applied press ok now again color map color exchange now this part is the tricky one you have to be sure that you are not taking the darkest point or the lightest point in your image it should be in between those for example I'm going to take this color that's the neutral color between them that's the brightest and that's the color between the brightest and the darkest colors and take your two color and set that to your midpoint color bring the threshold all the way up and it's starting to take effect now if you're noticing there is a blue tint or a green tint for getting rid of that go to your mode soft light and that should look pretty much similar to the image we created earlier Okay, that's pretty similar I'm gonna open up that image still image okay okay that's pretty similar I can't really tell a difference so press shift on your keyboard and just click on the original image visibility and that's gonna turn that on and leaving everything off so this is the original image and we made that into this I'm gonna control Z to undo that all right now it's pretty similar i can see that it is pretty good and this is how we can create steel colors from any image and apply that to your own image if you liked it or learned something new from this leave a like and if you have any doubts in this video leave a comment and if you want me to improve and if you have felt any difficulty in my teaching so leave a comment as well for daily content subscribe and hit the notification bell so you, you don't miss any of the new content and stay creative stay healthy and as always thanks for watching